Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and give you a tour of all the different plants. Um, do my best to remember all the names and um, yeah, so this is going to be a bit of a longer video, um, but I wanted to go through and see if I can remember all that I have in here and go from there. So without further ado, let's get into it. You might hear the fan's going to be a little loud when I'm over here, but uh, first up is this gnarly thing that needs uh, some love and get these pictures removed. This is Sibuensis by Merliana. So this pr produces big, beautiful uh, cherry red pitchers, none of which are on here right now. They are all dying. I, I gave it some Osmocote, um, but uh, it should be picturing here soon. Uh, these pitchers will get enormous. Um, they have, so Bergen Water Gardens has one that is just like the size of, uh, of a milk jug. Uh, they get absolutely enormous. So I uh, can't wait for that one to grow out. It is uh, just like some of the other ones that I had from the freeze. It, it, uh, it's suffering, but it is making a comeback. Next over here is Truncata Titan's Tower. Um, so this one is... Uh, let me turn off this fan so it's not right in here. Titan's Tower is a um, Nepenthes uh, that is made by predatory plants. Their Titan is probably one of the biggest Truncatas I've ever seen. And then they cross that with a Truncata Giant. So this should be absolutely enormous uh, once fully grown. Um, got a brand new leaf on it, looking great. <clears throat> Next to that is a Polkra hybrid you don't see a lot of. This is Thimbleton by, uh, I believe, Truncata. No, yeah, Thimbleton by Polkra. Thimbleton ha is essentially a genetic of a whole bunch of really big plants. So it's got Truncata in there, Merliana, another Truncata, and then it's got an unidentified cross, and then Polkra, which itself gets absolutely enormous. The really cool thing about this plant is every pitcher really uh, produces something different. So you'll have a fully green pitcher with a ruby red pitcher uh, all the way to a striped pitcher. So everyone that comes out is, is completely unique. Um, and that is really neat. I've never seen that before. Uh, but that does seem to be a trend with Polkra uh, hybrids. I'm a big fan of them. Got that one from Todd's Tropicals. N the next one, <clears throat> looking kind of sad, this is the uh, Jungle Bells. Um, so it's due for a repot, but there is the uh, Jungle Bell, Sibionensis by Ventricosa, or Ventricosa Sibionensis, um, produces really stout tubby pitchers um, that look, I love them. Um, not a whole lot to them, but they get this really gnarly pitcher and they and they, they uh, do very well. Next, um, it's seen better days. This is that one that got stem rot. This is um, Rob Cantley Eye by Raja by Rob Cantley Eye. The good news is I did save it from its stem rot and it is growing out a new uh, pitcher. Uh, this is the only clone of this in the world. Uh, there are several out there, um, but it's the only one they could ever get to take. Uh, it's been about 20 years of the making, uh, not this particular plan obviously, but the clone itself. So I'll be excited to see how it goes. This one I love. Um, on a personal level. This is Spatulata by Merliana. Um, I brought it back from death and yeah, the main vine obviously does not look fantastic, but it is, um, it is starting to grow out its pitchers on the basils. It's got two basils. Um, oddly enough, um, the way I saved this thing is, I don't know if it had root rot or what, but I repotted it in strictly um, peat moss, which is something that you can do with the pinties, but I don't necessarily do it a lot. But it, it seems to have taken a liking to that and since I've done that has uh, basil quite profusely and has taken off so very excited to see that um, I have not seen an adult version of this hybrid so there's no telling what what it'll end up looking like but uh, should be magnificent uh, next is this big 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 this is a uh, truncata titan by spatulata um, this one produces uh, enormous pitchers um, it's been in my care for a couple of years. I bought it as a small plant. Um, it is starting to produce a basil, which is super exciting. But um, yeah, I cannot wait to see it. 
the thing is it's just it just gets such a huge span so I don't, I don't even know what we're looking at here a foot and a half maybe two feet I don't know uh, maybe a foot and a half uh, it's span and it's continuing to grow uh, and the leaves get bigger and bigger so super excited to see that it is working on another pitcher but uh, it will be a while they do take a while to develop their pitchers but <clears throat> we'll see how it goes next back here is a super one is one I'm super excited about I can't get it a pitcher which is crazy but it it seems to be putting all its energy in basils this is um, from Todd's tropicals as well this is oh gosh Ventricosa by Bongzo by Merliana and the pictures on it look like giant coffee cups so it looks essentially like a ventricosa that's just really dark and really really tubby uh, so i'm very excited to see how that turns out uh, what's really cool about that and you'll see in a lot of ventricosa hybrids is that they do produce a lot of basil so i'm very excited next up is uh, by carnivero this is truncata jb giant by payson jb was a, a collector of carnivorous plants, and so this is a particularly large form, and it's mixed with Paysin. Paysin is a another very large form that it's known for its reddish tint, uh, and it's also known to be an um, highland growing depend, or a truncata, which is unusual, and so this one uh, should be quite large. Uh, I may not get all to all the plants today because I don't want this video to be um, uh, you know two hours long, but I'll. Uh, post a part two. Um, I'll probably cover the ones that are on this table at least. So next up is Hamakua. Let's see. It's still a sour. It's Truncata by Hamakua by Campanulata. So this is a, a, a Leilani uh, Nepenthes hybrid mixed in with a Truncata. Um, it will get enormous bell-shaped pitchers. It does have a pitcher on it right now, uh, but this is the one it came with. Uh, crazy enough, they're very, very, very hard pitchers, so that's interesting. Um, this is a cutting, again, from Todd's Tropicals. I'm excited to see what that's going to do and how that will turn out. Uh, but the pitchers are, they stay all green. This one's actually very yellow for what it will be. Uh, they get all green, and they get very, very, very long and bell-shaped. So super excited about that, and again, super tough pitchers themselves. Um, next, this little guy here, I'm actually very excited about. This is from Carnivero. This, uh, even though it looks like nothing now, will be a really neat picture. This is um, uh, Truncata by Campanulata by Clipiata. So Truncata Campanulata produces a beefy, very wide mouth um, uh, plant. And then the Campanulata will give it that really weird, uh, almost hourglass shape with the bulbous um, bottom. So very excited to see how that grows out as it matures. Very tiny now, so time will tell. All right, on to the next. This is Marpesa by Truncata. And so I've tried to look up the origins of what Marpesa is, and by all intents and purposes, it looks like it's just another form of uh, Miranda. But what I was really excited about this is Marpesa with Truncata Giant. And so what it ought to lend is a very fast very easy grower with very large pitchers and that uh, is something that i have noticed now carnivoro has been sold out of this but they just recently in their newest release got some more i highly recommend this uh, plant very beautiful easy grower um, it did get a little bit of thrip but i was able to treat that um, but it has been a very easy grower <clears throat> next is a bunch of the same plants so you got one two three four bunches and i was super excited about this. this is why i bought a lot of them because i wanted to get some genetic diversity and then also predatory these all came from predatory plants out of the same seed batch and i don't know if they just had extras or they didn't feel like pulling them apart but they sent me i ordered three and they sent me four but instead of just like four regular just like a single seedling they sent me four bunches of seedlings so i think in total i think i counted like 20 plants here and all of these plants will get uh, absolutely enormous. They are very, very easy growing, very forgiving. Um, and these pictures, if you ever look up a spatulata, um, so again, this I, I didn't say this, this is spatulata by Rob Cantley Eye. Um, they get absolutely gigantic. And I just love the otherworldliness of these really large pictures. So super excited to uh, watch these grow out. And again, I got several of them, so maybe I can sell and trade in the future, but honestly, uh, more than anything, I got them just to get some biodiversity, hopefully get some females in there, 
and so that I can do some processing. <clears throat> Next up is the, um, oh gosh, Alada by Caesar. So Caesar is Merliana by Truncata, and this is the Alada with that. So you can definitely see the Alada body on there, and uh, it produces these pictures. Now this is a very small version of that. Um, these pictures will get over a foot tall. Um, and this is the one where the growth tip broke off when I was moving to this new grow tent. Super bummed out about that, but I don't think there's any way I can get this camera to focus. But you can see this itty bitty tiny bump in there. That is the new growth tip. So that's very exciting. Um, this thing is known for be very, very easy grower. As long as you give it good light uh, and good moisture, it will produce um, tons of pictures. And technically not even humidity is necessary an issue with this. This is one of the few giants that you can grow uh, in your home. So that's pretty exciting. Again, from Todd's Tropicals, he does have more of those if you're interested. Next is one that you don't see a lot of. I've got to try to get down here to see this. This is uh, Peltata by SP1. Uh, Peltata is known as a very bushy, low growing plant. Uh, it doesn't vine too much and uppers are almost non-existent, uh, which you can see here is what it's doing. It's got three growth points on it. Uh, SP1 is a, a as of yet named Sumatra clone, or excuse me, uh, species that produces very, very tall, very bulbous pitchers that are very soft. And so you, you see here, this one is very soft. Um, it's are paper, paper thin. Um, Peltata will also get very big. You don't see this cross very much. This actually came from Bergen Water Gardens. Um, I'm excited to see what it will do uh, as it grows out. Oh boy, this one's very, very sad to me. So this is my Rob Cantley eye and it is in terrible shape. Um, I really messed up big time and got, uh, had this in a place where it got a lot of water on it and didn't have very good um, consistent humidity. And if you know any of my Rob Cantley eye, those are the two <laughs> Um, worst possible things you could do for it. So it looks horrible right now, but um, I'm hoping it'll make a comeback. Um, I've got it more in a, in a much more uh, air, uh, air airflow. Well, I don't know what you'd say. It's getting a lot more airflow. There you go. Um, and it's also, I'm keeping, ensuring that it keeps a consistent moisture on the soil. That way, um, hopefully we can give it what it wants. And I'd be very careful not to get water on the leaves, even though some condenses on there, but I'm hoping I can save it. It does have a new growth point going on it, um, but uh, yeah, yep. Kind of heartbreaking, but we'll see how it goes. And then we get to the big, big uh, boys and girls. This is a female Caesar. So this is Merliana by Truncata. Uh, and this one is particularly, uh, this, this clone is particularly known for its beauty and its stripes. And so, uh, again, from Todd's Tropicals, he just had another one for sale and somebody picked it up on eBay. Um, a little, little bit more on the pricier side, so it's about $200, uh, which is way more than I ever thought I'd spend for a plant, but I'm so glad that I did. It's a, um, you know, Todd, all of his plants are such great stock. Um, and I, again, like these really big pitchers. Um, and so it doesn't get much bigger than this. So I'm super excited to have it and to watch it grow and to share that with you. Um, and then right next to it is the opposite. So this one came from Carnivero. This is Truncata by Merliana. And this one is the clone that is from EP. And so you can see how beautiful that is, but you see how closely related they are in striping. Um, they will be about the same size. They will get absolutely enormous foot, foot and a half, probably about a foot and a half tall. Uh, and then they get these really big, very tough pictures. Uh, very excited to see them. So far, I've seen that they've been very, very easy to take care of, knock on wood. And we'll continue to, to hopefully see that trend uh, with them. All right, so that's everything on this table. I know I went through that really fast. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, on this particular table, just let me know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and include, uh, I'm gonna stop this for part one and then we'll do a part two for all the hanging plants and then we'll do a part three with all the plants that are hanging up on the rack. I hope you have a wonderful day. It's great uh, catching up with you again. I hope you enjoy the video uh, and have a wonderful day.